Hello everybody, it's Sierra, the Artsy Badger, and today I'm going to be sharing with you some ideas I have for stickers. Today we will be drawing a corgi in a pot of chamomile flowers. So I'm going to be using some Bristol boards that I cut out to be about 4 by 5 inches, my twist erase pencil, eraser, and my Micron pen in O2. I'm going to be using my Copic markers to color in this drawing. If you want to know the exact colors I use, they will be listed in the description. So I've had the desire to make something worthy of being a print or a sticker for a long time now, but it's been really hard for me to come up with something that is original and something that I like. I've been very tempted to go the fan art route and make, you know, a bunch of stickers of my favorite characters from my favorite cartoon in my style, but I have this issue with the idea of selling fan art. I feel like it's not fair to the original creators. I'm honestly not even really sure how that works. Obviously lots of people do it, but to me it feels like there's probably copyright issues in there. I love fan art and I love looking at fan art, but I don't feel like I could sell fan art. Anyway, I would just rather create something that is all mine and hopefully everyone else will like it. And so I was trying to figure out what would people like? What do people want? <laughs> and I always love things with animals on it. And if it's an animal that I really connect with, then I'm very inclined to buy it. And so I decided to do a series of little puppies in pots. I'm calling it Potted Puppies. For now and I am going to make it a series of five. This one is the corgi chamomile. I am trying to keep the flowers sort of rhyming or at least phonetically similar to the name of the dog. So I used some reference photos from Pinterest to draw the dog and also to draw the flowers but obviously there wasn't an exact image of this happening. There weren't any corgis in actual flower pots. At least I didn't see any, but I thought it was a cute idea. I hope you think so too. Let me know if you would actually be interested in this as a print or as a sticker. And like I said, there's going to be five, so part of me thinks that it would be nice to have it as, you know, a sticker set or a sticker sheet. Uh, I'm not really sure which yet. But let me know what you think, and obviously maybe you won't know until all five are produced, but yeah, I'm pretty excited about it. I think this one turned out pretty cute. Now I'm just coloring it in with my Copic markers. I'm trying to decide if I want all the pots to be the same kind of pot to keep them kind of cohesive. I think that's what I'm going to do, but I'm not 100% sure. The coloring process for this was actually really fun. I don't think I've ever used Bristol board before for a marker project, but I actually really liked the way that it took the markers. It wasn't as smooth as marker paper, but I kind of liked that. I feel like I struggle to avoid streakiness with marker paper. My ideal kind of paper is the kind that absorbs more, so printer paper is actually one of the better kinds of papers, in my opinion, for markers, except for that it eats up a lot of the ink, but I feel like it's easiest for me to get a smooth finish. I don't know why that is, but that's just how I feel. The point is, I really enjoyed using the Bristol board, and I'm looking forward to doing more drawings on this Bristol board. Bristol paper? Bristol board? Bristol paper? Bristol paper. <laughs>
that's it. I think he turned out pretty cute. I hope you like him too. Let me know down below if you would actually be interested in this little corgi chamomile as a print or as a sticker. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you tomorrow.